Hello and thanks for joining me again. I'm Stephen Crowley and this is going to be um, Ashness Bridge in the Lake District in, in uh, England. And I'm doing it slightly different today because I did say in yesterday's video, if you was watching, I was going to I wasn't going to wet the paper first and just see what the difference was, so I'm just going to go straight in with the colour now. And I'm just going to see, because I'm very rare, I haven't done it like this for absolutely ages. So I'm just going to see what it's like. What I have done is pre stretched the paper. I've just uh, actually ran it under the tap. Just ran it under the tap, completely saturated it. And then I've uh, let it drip, drip dry a bit, and then I've. Um, Dried it with a hairdryer. So let's let's just see what the difference is. So these are basically I'll put the sky in there, and these are little mountains below. Um, one of the advantage advantages of this uh, style is you can get really sharp edges, especially things like mountains or anything really. Whereas when you wet it all over first, you've got to sort of, because it's so wet and you, it all softens off. But this way, you're getting sharp edges right from the start, right? These look like sort of snow capped mountains. Well, they, they would do, but I, I need a bit more practice with this style, really. A um, little, little bit of green down there. Um, Quite a long way away these are, so I don't want to, I don't want too much detail in this. But I just want to just get a bit of variation. It's a bit dark with all sienna come off there, so I don't want big dollops at this stage. I don't like the, the save the dollops for the foreground. A bit more, a bit of green down here, I think. I'm just working out. The, uh, the water's going to be somewhere down there. Right. Well, all I did there, I just dip the uh, just dip the brush in the water just to dilute the mix because I really because there's another la layer going in there, and I just wanted to get it really light and toned just so that the the next layer will contrast against it better. So that, that sort of comes down, something like that. So I'm just making sure this is level now, because there's some water going underneath there. So it's more like that anyway. They're the distant mountains. Now underneath there, I'm just going into ultramarine, because we've got our lake, our lake there. So I'll just pop the water in. Sort of hit and miss like this, leave really, just tiny little unpainted parts, and that just looks like where the uh, you know, like the ripples on the water or something like that. So you can't see much, just just see through the tree line. So I'll just put it in like that rather than a quick sweep. Could have done it like that. Another way is to just give a quick sweep like that, and you get like unpainted little bits, just little dots, it looks like sparkle. I'll try that next time, but for now, I'm just going to leave it like that, I think. Right now, we've got uh, some trees to go in, so what I might do first, give that a quick dry. Uh, there's like a tree line that sort of goes up here and then goes up, up the side of these four grand hills. So I haven't cleaned the brush, I've got the same colours, I'm just giving light red, a bit of brown, burnt umber, just a little bit of that, raw um, ultramarine. 
sides, just see what it looks like. I mean, you can pat on a bit of paper on the side to your side if you wish. Um, I often just go straight in. And that's, that wants to come down. About two thirds of the way down, that is. That starts. Somewhere down there. It's quite dark, lots of shadows down there. And this is like a like a road at the bottom. It's still just a little bit too wet to scrape out yet. Um, into some lemon yellow. Just get a bit of bit of variation. using the corner of the brush just working the way up the side might just make it a little bit higher on this side I think it's giving lemon yellow a bit of paint grey just make it a little bit higher because it was all the same level and I weren't didn't like it a little bit darker down there, I think. Right, so I've got dark colour on the brush, so I want to get back to light, so I'm going to have to clean it. Take the excess water off on the tea towel, and then So what I want now, I'm going to start on the hill, now the hill starts right up there, so I'll put in a little bit darker than that behind it, just so that it shows up a bit better. So I'm just going to go raw sienna, a bit of, bit of lemon yellow, touch of umber, burnt umber, let's see what colour that looks like. Uh, Be a little bit lighter, I think. Put more lemon yellow. So where there's going to be a road somewhere down there. Just chopping these trees. I want that line to come down, something like that. So I'm just just keep swishing the brush like that. I can get rid of the bottom of those trees and turn them into grass. Just an easy way of adjusting the uh, height of your trees. Ultramarine to alter it a little bit. Now that's dried a little bit. I can just scrape out a few, a few branches here and there. It's dried a bit too much on some of them, so I can't quite scrape out properly. Little bits, a uh, few tufts, a few little bushes and whatnot on there. Let's just pop them in. Just work 
you know, way up the side of your seal. Quick sweep for the road. I'm thinking a bit of light red, a bit of, a bit of um, ultramarine. And it's just a quick road, just goes round there like that. No detail. And then what we've got here is a bridge. So I'm just going to go a bit of, I want a darker colour now, so a bit of ultramarine. Bit of burnt umber. I'm just going to put in a sort of general. I just need to quickly dry that. general sort of bridge shape. And a little archway down there. I wonder if I've done this too dark to be honest with you. Scraping these bits on the top. These are the, the bricks on the top of the top of the bridge. Down there. On the side. Then we've got actually got bricks down. Like around the arch like that. And then sort of carry on. Something like so. And the rest of it now, just very lightly, just sort of suggesting brickwork, but I don't want to do any more scraping because I've already scraped them too much. And this is actually very dark under there, so it's just it's all in a shadow. So I'm just going to pop that in while I can. Should have done that a bit lighter. It might dry a bit lighter. I'll see how it dries actually. Um, just clean the brush. Not entirely happy with those trees to be honest with you. So I'm just going to do the red, do the burnt umber. A bit of raw sienna, just pop that in like that. Just trying to get some real variation there because it just, just don't like that at all. It, I think it was too, too um, varied in colour. I'm just trying to uniform it up a little bit. Some big dollops of ultramarine lemon yellow. We've got a big, big green one here. And the green one down there. I think that looks a bit better. Holes, all rocks and 
そうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう Such a pine's grey. Quick, quick sweep, just to give the water some movement. That'll do. And a bit more brown. Burnt umber, ultramarine. Seems to be a bit darker down there. Just to stand out against the over uh, the water. Bit of a shadow down there. See the other side of the bridge. Just on the other side of the road. Top of the bridge. Could have only been a little bit lighter because this shadowy area now actually through the bridge isn't really showing up, is it? Um, in fact, well, hang on, let's, I'll scrape it in first and then I'll try and make it lighter. Scrape the back in. These are the bricks at top on the top of the bridge. adding clean water just to lighten it off a little bit so I want it lighter than the uh, the shadow in, in the tunnel a little bit lighter maybe just a a few little bits of raw sienna just to add a bit of variation. Just watching that. Let it keep dry. Let me scrape it. So I was going 
going to scrape that before you've started working its way down the page. It's very wet. of experimentation really just get your hands in there and just see what happens does that look any better? I think that looks a little bit better than it did Switch to the, the little brush there. Um, like first, let's just put some shadows in. I'm just doing a bit of brown, a bit of red, a bit of blue. A little bit of green stolen in there as well. Um, Uh, which way actually, it looks a bit dry for this one. <coughs> I need to do something with it because uh, basically I don't like it, I don't like it at all. I don't like this experiment doing it on dry, I'm just not used to doing it without wetting it all over first and everything just blending in and mixing and just going bar mate. I'm not used to this deliberate style of doing things. Um, so now I'm having to try and sort of, um, I suppose, make it look more like what I'm, what I'm used to, really. I'm going to try and I'm, uh, determine which, where the, um, the sun's coming from. Let's just say the shadows. The sun's over here, so the shadow's going to sort of cut across there like this. With his dog, so back to the little brush. I'm giving straight into the red. Uh, where should we put him? So, up there, somewhere. Up there, so we've got there's his body, then a bit of blue. Mix that in. Dog up there. Um, I need to yeah, 
shadows coming in so it's bad. Pop the little shadows in. I'm going to stick a little bird flying just above the trees. No, no, he's up there somewhere. Flying up there and then finally just down here somewhere I'm just going to put me a Put me now. I'm going to call that one done. So it still looks like the main sun. So there's the finished painting. Um, as I said before, I'm not used to painting this way. Um, I, I don't like the picture at all. But uh, let's, let's go and have a closer look at it. Not really much sky going on up here, but the distant um, hillside. Very light tone, just uh, raw sienna, burnt umber, um, not raw, um, raw sienna and ultramarine, with a little bit of lemon yellow in there, like where the foothills hills, hills are, so suggests the grass. And then coming into this middle brown area, got a bit of variation here in the in the trees. Um, a few scrapes here with a fingernail here and there, just using the corner of the height brush. A few big dollops of lemon yellow there. Um, sort of light red, burnt umber, these sort of ready areas, a bit more raw sienna area. Just to create the variation as the tree goes up the side of the hill. Whole of the bridge with the tunnel, it's all the same, all the same tone, so just to get the, uh, this, the shadows, dark tunnel, I had to sort of lighten it, and all I did, just use clear water just to dilute the paint that was already on there. Just scraped out with the card just to define the shape of the tunnel. Same again with the top of the bridge. The stonework there, the cross there, just scraped out. And then a few more uh, stones and rocks there. Right, coming right into the, uh, the foreground here, just scraped out with the card. And then the water, put in quickly with the, uh, the height brush. And you can see the bits of Unpainted, where you can see the white of the paper, it just looks like sort of ripples and splashing of the water there. And then finally, we've got a little figure. It was meant to be a man. It looks more like a woman actually, like in it with a long skirt on, walking a little dog there. With a don't forget to put the shadows in as well. So that's it for this one. I hope you like that. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I've got new, new videos coming out every weekday. You can help me by liking and sharing. Um, commenting below so until Monday keep practicing and I'll see you again soon